So I noticed that this channel's views have been going down lately due to lack of interest for my videos I put out. You don't like my videos? Is that it, Becky? Is that it? So I'll give you guys what you want, a Skyrim build video. Before I go into it, I will announce that from now on I will start putting more effort into my videos, which means that the number of time that I will spend on them will go from 12 hours to about 15 or 16 hours, which is crazy. So if I'm not able to keep up with a weekly schedule, which will probably be the case, don't come after me, please. So let's get into the video. As always, the Skyrim character build series has three main rules. I'll provide the vague backstory of the character, the recommended mods, and the gameplay style, and all of this in Skyrim Special Edition. And as a heads up, the shit ton of visual mods will be in the description down below. The Dwemer are a very mysterious race in the land of Tamriel. Their unexpected disappearance has struck all citizens of the continent, and now all that remains are the ruins of their lost cities, along with their technology. You see, in the Elder Scrolls universe, the dwarves were this advanced race of Mur that had access to knowledge and technologies never before seen. But then again, you guys know more about the lore of the games than me, so correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, this is medieval times, and the dwarves had like robots and shit. Look at this! So my character Krasis has spent his life on their ancient technology and learned how to use it in his own favor. Notice that I called him Krasis. Other names I would use for this character would be Brevis and Barba. Only because it sounds cool. Not because I'm a racist douche that makes fun of the typical dwarf. He seeks more knowledge and he would like to study at the College of Winterhold. As a master of conjuration magic, he was able to combine his knowledge on the ancient dwarven technology and the arcane arts in order to summon tools for him to use when in need. We'll get into the mods in a second. Because of the time he spent on his research, Krasis has not had the time to live a proper life, as he never had time to travel or to love. It is now your quest to take him on the adventures of a lifetime, and decide if he will settle down or if his quest for knowledge will turn into a quest of power. If the latter happens, would he use the powers for good or for evil? The choice is in your hands. So for the mods that I would recommend, I will start with Alternate Start Live Another Life. This is a mod that I always use in my character build videos because it's the easiest way in order for you to implement the backstory that I provide. For the next one, I will have one that I briefly showed about a minute ago, which is Dwarven Robot Mounts and Companions. Now because I'm a lazy bitch, I will only show you the dog thing with no head for some reason, and the cool robot horse thing. The cool thing about it is that you can summon them whenever and wherever you want. And you can ride them just like I wish Serana would ride me. Now, why am I only showing you two and not all of them? Well, if you're gonna play as this character, you will have to discover the Dwarven technology and research it up close without having an idiot like me on the internet showing you everything. Now, is this another lazy way for me to explain why I'm too lazy? Well, you have to discover that answer as well. Now you're telling me that you don't like the robot horse. Would you prefer something more motorized? Introducing Dwarven Motorcycle and Other Vehicles. Now, I'm not sure why other vehicles is in the title because I can legit say that only the bike is the thing I see. Unless you count this creature that for some reason comes with mod. Like what the hell is this? Looks like Squidward with armor, what the f Now for the next mod, I will be covering the most lore friendly weapon mod that would have to do with this build. Introducing Dwarven Rifle Crossbow Type. I'm not even joking when I say it's lore friendly. The guy spent his life studying this technology, of course he would be able to come up with this innovative weapon idea. To be honest with you guys, I would have never thought that having guns in Skyrim would be cool, and the way that this mod adds them is really smooth. Like it's the best fucking genocide in Whiterun in years. But there's a catch. In order to do that, you will have to craft these iron daggers again and again and For our last mod, I'm going to- Oh what the fuck? I'm arcanophobic of so or some shit. Uh, what the fuck are you? Oh wait, it's the Dwarven Luggage SSE. It will be pretty practical to have a walking chest, wouldn't it? Well, here's your chance! For only 69 payments of 420 septims, you can get your very own luggage. Call now or this offer will expire in 3, 2... Oh, you're too late. <laughs> get f***ed. Now getting into the gameplay style, you guys would expect me to say that you should wear Dwarven Armor. And you're correct at that. I would suggest the mods Immersive Armor and Weapons as well, as it would give you more variety on the arsenal you can use. I decided to not put these mods in my recommended mods, because I covered them so many times already. I also covered alternate start so many times too, but I don't know, just, just, just go with it. You can choose your weapons and armor as long as it stays dwarven. I'm just gonna stay with the vanilla option myself, because I honestly never use it, so I thought that, hey, this might be my chance. Now, Krace is not a violent person. 
but he doesn't mind punching some shit when he gets angry. He focuses a lot on enchanting, and his research doesn't only cover the field of the Dwemer, but also the one of the arcane arts. His focus on conjuration is important too, as it makes him able to summon the machines he has studied to help him in different situations. When it comes to interactions with other characters, he hasn't focused much on this during his younger life, so he would try to change that now, before he moves on to Salvatguard, or whatever else he would go depending on the race. He wouldn't mind grabbing a drink or participating in brawls as long as it doesn't get him kicked out of the tavern. He likes to drink. We all do. His favorite city is Markarth because of the dwarven aspects of it. He will try to get enough money to purchase the house in the city. I'm sure you can help him with that. Can you? Oh, and don't go to Blackbridge too often. He's kind of sick of spending years down there. It's terrible. I mean, I spent about one hour in Blackbridge trying to get the footage for this video. I'm already sick of it, so please don't do this to yourself. I did it to me, and it was not good. And this is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you're new, subscribe. The playlist for my Skyrim character build series will be in the description down below so you can check out my other videos as well if you enjoyed this one. Now if you guys have any suggestion for uh, my next videos, you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram. The link to my Instagram will be in the description as well, along with my other links for any other social media. And as for an announcement, if you guys have followed up with my personal life and all that from all the vlogs that I posted, you guys will know that right now I have finished school and I have officially graduated college. I'm going to start university in September and because of that I will have to quit my part-time job because I want to focus on my studies and YouTube because last semester was terrible when I had a job and uh, my YouTube and the school and all that and right now I just want to focus on this. So if you guys want to support me financially, I was thinking about opening a Patreon. If you guys would be interested, just let me know. Uh, I don't know yet what to uh, give you as for the tiers in order to thank you if you ever decide to uh, be part of this, but I was considering it. However, at the same time, if no one is interested, I will probably not do it because that's more work for me for no reason. But if you do, please let me know and tell me in the comments down below or you can follow me on Instagram, DM me on Instagram, everything will be good. Thank you guys very much for watching and as always, take care.